Hair by It's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing, it's fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. And Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show at the end of any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram today. Thank you very much. And if you want some great gift ideas, last minute, 24-7, family, friends, loved ones, your pets, and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, makes great gifts for family, friends, loved ones, and your pets will love you 24-7, 365. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. For great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, cool phone cases, and more. Makes great gifts for your loved ones. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support us on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the MikeWidenerShow.com. Make sure you do so today. He's back by popular demand. He's the terrific gentleman who's from Hartford, Connecticut, and host of the amazing Movie Reviews and more. It's not just Movie Reviews. There's a lot more to it, and he has some great co-hosts on there, just great celebrities, and have 6 million viewers a day. <laughs> you can believe it. And uh, he's also a producer, host, and, um, and a promoter committed to diversity. And he's also a Buick Accord fanatic. We talked about that in the founder of um, The Art of Montague and um, also uh, heads up a new project, which is called the Dreamweaver Arts um, Organization. And uh, this is... Uh, Founded with uh, creative energy to support and encourage the independent artists while benefiting the enriching and underserved communities. We'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown North Hollywood, the amazingly multi-talented and backed by popular demand, the host of Movie Reviews and More, and the founder of Dream Weave Arts, Brian Sebastian. Brian, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Hey, Mike, I, I love how you're promoting everything. I love the pillow. Smart idea. Good for you. See, I'm, I can't wait to have you on our show still. I got to have you on hopefully in January because I love your promotion. This is how you do it. People have to remember, if you don't sell it, who's going to, right? Exactly. That's right. And there was an ad I heard, too, about um, a guy who was, um, I guess he was killed in, uh, in the line of duty. And he said, if, uh, if, 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 uh, if I'm not going to serve or who's not going to serve, who will? You know, that's the same principle. And of course, I've had a lot of requests for pillows and uh, my dog Molly tried to sit on one and says, get your own, will you, dog? So <laughs> we got that. And my wife loves to go shopping. She likes to take that with um, the tote bag as well. She stuffs a lot of things. And um, also what's great, too, is that uh, the women can uh, take me shopping as well, too, along with the husbands. I mean, I can just advise yes to no, but the husband's always at the final say when it comes to shopping. Am I right? <laughs> You are right. And, and, and that's the whole thing. It's all about that promotion. It's not coming from the ego. It's about this is how we support our shows in a different way so people don't forget that. And for the audience out there, just in case, there's a lot of noise going around because people are leaving and going. You see buses in the background. And I'm in North Hollywood, California. So they're wanting to do all of these things. So when I'm on mute, you won't hear it. But when I'm talking, you'll hear a little bit of background stuff. But that's okay. We make it work, right, Mike? That's right. We do make it work indeed. And it shows you're in a very popular area. I mean, you are a popular host, especially with movie reviews and more. Six million viewers a day. And uh, we we talked about last, we talked a little about movie reviews and more. You had Sherry Nelson as a co-host and you had just amazing people on the show. It's not just movie reviews, but there's a lot more to it. And um, also, you also are the founder of the art of a uh, Minding you, I hope I still got that right. And also talked about the Bugle Corps. And if you want to give us an update, that'd be great. And uh, also, we're here to talk about 
the Dreamweave Arts Organization. And that's the big thing. And um, before getting all that, uh, Brian, once again, very quickly, tell us how I got started. Very well, quick. a lot of the stuff that's been happening now. So we were at 6 million. Now we're at 10.1, Mike. Whoa, so 10.1. I better correct it. Thank you. Oh, so, so what happens is our numbers keep going up. So we keep growing. Wow. And that's the whole thing. So, and we're more, a lot more global now. And then, so you and I are in the same list, which is an honor to be on, isn't it? I think that's great. Because I yep. tell everybody about you. There's this yep. guy we got to have you I call Mike Wagner because I love his show. Yes, that's right. And in fact, uh, there was a top 20 that was out by, was it Showbiz Magazine or Showbiz Out or Show Out or something? It's like, oh, so many publications out there. I can't keep up with my own publication. It, it was just like, you know, they had you up there. What, we were like uh, number four, number three or something like that. It's like, where, well, where, where are you at? 17th on one list, we're 15th. And then another list, we're 13th. And I tell everybody every day. I don't even know what these lists are, but I'll take it, right? It's promotion. We'll both take it, right? That's right, yeah. And, of course, you're on the uh, LA Times, Weekly Times, New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment and all that. I think you're up in the uh, top 10, top 20. And, um, you know, I made number six in the recent one. And um, I was in the top 40, top 50. What was that? Top 75, top 100, top 200. So, I, oh, I, I lose so, track so easy. To, either way. We're, we're just up there, I gotta say. And there's one podcaster out there, give a big shout to Ray Power, saying that um, many of us beat out, um, what, what was it, um, Michelle Obama? And I think there was um, another podcaster. It's like, oh my gosh, who was it? It's like Adam Carolla or something. And some even say we even beat out uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, you know, the fun thing about it, it's, it's just an honor to be on the list. So I, I, you probably did the same thing. I probably did the same thing. We didn't submit a show, did we? So someone is watching our stuff, Mike. That's the best thing about it, right? That's right. It's like we. It's like I didn't submit for any shows to, to be recognized. Like people come to me and people come to you, and um, you know, you come to everybody. I don't bother submitting. It's like you know, if anybody's interested, it's like you know, my story is that uh, when I looked at it and uh, I, I was a hit like number forty out of fifty, I was like, I wasn't expecting this. And every list I looked at, like. I did not expect it. You know, it's like, that was just me. It's like, I wasn't trying for number one. I wasn't trying for a 50. It's like, I wasn't expecting, you know, like take as you can get. Well, you think about this, you know what it's like to have Sherry on the show. You see the numbers go up, right? So imagine when we have the revering, the recurring girls. So Linda Steele out of Chicago, she was the number one fitness person 17 years ago. And then she finished number two to her trainer who finished number one. Tasha in Miami, Florida, Latin American singer. She's doing great now because she's getting more views and stuff like that. So we're doing more interviews on everything like that, which is actually really good. And I keep telling them, you have to go on Mike's show. So I'm going to set it up myself if Eileen yeah. does, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it too. Let's give a big shout out to uh, Jimmy and Eileen, Ron Russell, and all the gang at World Star PR as well too, you know? I mean, just shout outs all across the board. And of course, you know, if you want a real shout out, it's like, bringing in a bugle core and do shout outs too. So, <laughs> well, if, if you know me, that's my number one law marching in a drum and bugle chorus, like marching in a band on standards. And what it is, I get my work ethic from doing everything like that. So, if, you know, if we stood at attention for an hour and a half, sometimes two hours in the cornfields and in Ohio in the summer in 90 um, degrees, you learn a lot when you can't drink water or anything like that. That's some, something too, right? It, it, it builds your character. So that's where my work ethic comes from. Mm -hmm. That's right, too. And then someone's singing in the background as well, too. I think they're trying for the bugle core as well, too. So <laughs> it's, it's called being in California. Exactly. And of course, they got plenty of uh, bugle core in California as well, too. It's like too bad they don't promote as much that so they promote celebrities, that they promote, uh, you know, whatever it is. It's like, how come they can't promote bugle core in California? It's like, don't you think that should be a next trend setting thing in California, bugle core? Well, that's one of the things about the Dreamweaver Arts. It's about promoting people like yourself and promoting those artists and make sure people see them because you've been in the business for a long time. It's about that. And people, not everybody knows your story or the trials and tribulations that to go through to keep it on the air. You are doing seven days a week. I still can't get that to my head when you were doing that. <laughs> I was doing three, five shows a day, but not seven days a week like you were doing. I, I think three, five shows a day. It's just like, what was it like, um, you know, three in one day, five in one day and all that. It was just once a day for me, you know, that's, just, that's how I set it up. It's like, I did a thing. It's like traditional radio. It's like, you know, 
we know one a day, one a day, and stay tuned uh, tomorrow for so and so. We feature so and so and everything else. But now it's just like I'm picking for your idea. I start doing like you know two a day because of Christmas rush, and um, you know not just your show. You know being like with so many, and you're also juggling juggling a lot of um people as well too. The dream dream weave arts and um also um art of Montague and uh, everything else. And um, I, I guess as uh, Steve Jobs says, you know, here's to the crazy ones, just like we're doing. It's like, it's a good crazy, right? <laughs> and it is true. I always tell people I'm nuts. I'm not normal. I mean, normal is, it's boring. And, you know, like I look at it this way, I'm hovering above the box, not in the box. I, so I'm seeing, I see different things that people don't see if that makes sense. And mm -hmm. it's that movie reviews and more up, but to help other people sort of like yourself and other people who have talent out there, and people who are relevant who might not be relevant. Just because time may have passed you by doesn't mean you're any less talented. And I found that out from doing a lot of things, uh, you know, around the world last night. We we're supposed to be helping people, not degrading them. We're supposed to be helping small business. Big businesses doesn't need it. And I love helping anything that's environmentally friendly, sustainable, and net zero. And that's what the Dream Your Artist Rant is all about. Mm -hmm. And of course, you also have like the Dream Weaver Arts Review, the art projects, the magazine, and you got the main gallery. And of course, what you also pride in is the uh, Artist Ranch. And that is so amazing. So the thing about the Artist Ranch, I'm getting ready to go to the CES show. For anybody who doesn't know that, it's called the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. This is where microphones came from, headphones, computers, laptops, cell phones, it all debuted there. So I've got it set up where I've got 10 of the CEOs that are coming to me in the Mandalay Bay, and I'm talking to them one-on-one -on -one because I'm setting it up how everything needs to be done safely and environmentally friendly. And that's a great time because now it's hard to see people because of how everything may be. We could be locked down tomorrow, but that's not affecting us. Last year was our best year. This year was better than last year. The next year will be better than the last two years. How many people can say that in the world? Mm -hmm. I, I I mean it, it's just, it's just a big uh, feat to accomplish as well too, and um, you, you know with the Vegas show and everything else, it's like you know they seem to be a step ahead of just about everything else. You know t the the things we got today could be obsolete tomorrow with the um the Vegas show. It's just like there's like bigger and better equipment, and I'll tell you the truth, I wish I was there to do that. So. <laughs> Well, the thing about that, that's why I like to do that. I always tell them, if I'm talking to Halle Berry or Sinbad, they can't get to a lot of these boots. I can because they're famous. I never wanted to be famous. I still don't want to be. I let everybody else be. Let me work behind the scenes and I can get a lot of stuff done. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what your uh, show is all about. It's like putting people in the spotlight. You also have uh, the Dreamweaver Arts. Um, you feature a get great guys like Peter Beck, Bradley Carter, Chris Crosby, Joe Dead. Timothy Frank, Jose Angel, and a lot more. I mean, I looked like, oh, they're just so amazing. Well, I think about this. It's one of those things where I always say what I'm going to do and do what you say. You have to always do that. And then sometimes it takes a little bit longer than what you want because nothing comes easy. And everybody puts in a lot of hard work. But how many people, Mike, like yourself or, or even my, you know, my, our, our, our team really work hard? This is not, this is not, nine to five this is every single day even when you don't want to mm -hmm. and, and of course there's a lot that gets involved as well too and of course you know another thing we'll uh, ask as well too it's just like how, how did the dream weaver project uh first got started in your mind you know later having it come to fruition well it was my partner uh monte capop lebeau it was his mother's vision to do this he she saw things that people weren't doing that, you know she's a homeless problem way, way back. She was always taking care. We call them experienced seniors, not senior citizens. Because oh, yes. Good one. Yeah, you could have someone who worked at NASA. They just get older. That doesn't mean their mind has gone because things are there. So if you put headphones on and play, play music, things will come back to you. you. Automatically, you go back to a different time. If you listen to them, you'll get a chance to see where they are and that will help. And it's one of those things where you're always creating things environmentally friendly, sustainable, and net zero for us. And when it comes to that fresh food, water, and having energy and not and being self-reliant. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important too, with self-reliance. And it, it seems like that, um, you know, most people are getting too depends. Like how do people get to be self-reliant, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, getting down to like the clutch situation or like you're on your last nail and all that. So you're like, 
What were some of the encouragement you want to get the people out there to be self-reliant when all else fails, when you uh, depend on, say, you know, your office, politician, governor, or, you know, depend on family member, whatever. So it's like, you know, you know, how can they uh, get that bridge of uh, self-reliance, you know, especially when, like, you know, this close. Well, the dream we are to set up to help a lot of people who've lost their homes, lost their jobs, can't get back on their feet. So with our tiny houses, whether it's 50 or the 75 that we have, or just growing fresh fruit. Think about when you grow your own food in your own garden, you cultivate it. This is what movie reviews the more. The more was always going to be important. I didn't know it when I created the night. Well, I did know it in 1993, October 1993. I didn't know what it was going to be, but you can see what it's going to be now. So wait until what happens, what happens next year. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we're looking to uh, forward to what you got. And how do we get into um, Dreamweavers as well, too? We'll find out just one minute. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. And Eve Love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com and over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by me and Molson Zia, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and check it out today. Also support us on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the amazing uh, host of Movie Reviews and More and the founder of Dreamweaver Arts here on the Mike Widener Show. And Brian, I mean, this is just a great project that you have and, uh, you know, some of the things you can do. But how do people get involved and uh, how do people apply to uh, get into the uh, Dreamweave Arts in, in, in order to get help? Well, you can go on, the, it's called the dreamweaverarts.org. Dreamweaverarts.org. You'll see everything in our link tree. And then it'll come up where you can, you can donate. We don't care if you donate $5 or $20. You can donate because when you come up to the ranch, you'll be able to see everything that's gone into it. Think, think of how PBS or the, uh, or the Sundance Institute cart, uh, started stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Robert Redford started the dream, uh, 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 Sundance because he wanted to take it out of California. He wanted to put it in a small area. Look what Sundance Film Festival does. For two weeks, it makes a lot of money. What it does the rest of the year, it makes Park City, Utah, $170 million. We will do more than that year around by what we're creating because we have energy, we have fresh water, we're growing our own food, and again, being self-reliant and finding those companies that are environmentally friendly. There's a one company called Bubble Huts, where they're like crystal globes. They're 12 feet long. They're in Air, Air, uh, Airbnb, and Amy Kaiserman, who's a woman, created them, and she's the founder, and they're environmentally friendly. And they're like a really cool show, uh, uh, trophy piece. We have Unforgettable Fire. He's an inventor, too. Roger Letter. He created the call, the KDD and the Kimberly. He named them out the women because they were the two first people to come in who believed in him. They're the best stoves in the entire country, probably the best in, in the world. Mm. And it's one of those things. They're all handcrafted and they're made in America. Nice. That is so nice. And of course, you know, you also have some, um, you know, singers as well, too. And uh, you also got some innovators as well, too. And, um, you know, tell us about some of those. And what would you say is the most amazing story that you have uh, in your organization as well, too, like to a particular person, inventor or influencer or whatever? Well, one of them, I think the Collins family, the Collins family, I learned about influencers in 2014. Now, Weekly Chris, Weekly Chris, when he was 12 years old, he's from Calgary, Canada. Um, he's 25 now. He has 32 to 35 million followers. He's wow. strong 
all his platforms still. Now, he doesn't have to work it like he used to, but he started when he was 12. Mm -hmm. His brother's got three million. His sister's got two million. Sister, his younger sister, Kizzy, has got two million. It's one of those things where everything comes in like that and you just make it work. So that whole family has 55 million followers. That's the fun thing about them. That's just them. <laughs> Boy, it's just like, you know, I, I, I have to wonder, it's like, how do we get that? And it's like, you know, our, your challenge, 10, over 10 million views a day with your uh, movie reviews and more. And of course, you know, who knows what numbers I have. And um, I guess we got a long ways trying to uh, keep, with, keep up with those. And maybe it's just like a little secret or something. It's like, you know, that's got to take some work as well, too. Vocally Tosh out of Miami, Florida. She's good. She's 26 years old. She, she uploads all of our shows on YouTube. What happened with her is she saw all the stuff that we were doing on the back end. So she got a chance to see how everything was run. So I said, Tosh, you could see what we're doing. Why don't you take this and model to what you're doing? So she, now she's ending up on a Karen Glasser show. She's ending up all these, all these things. So now she's getting trash. And what she really wanted to do is go to the Latin American uh, Music Awards and end up doing stuff in Miami. So she's doing it a different way by following the format that we have. And it's working for her. And I couldn't be happier for her. Oh, my gosh. That's so amazing as well, too. And, of course, you know, you know, people get involved as well, too, like with um, the fact that there's there's women and voices and there's also um, going to the website right now. Artists and wonder as well, too. And, of course, you know, people can submit. And uh, how do they submit their work in order to be considered? You can go to the dreamweaverarts.org. And then put up. We don't care if you're a poet. We don't care if you're an artist, musician, independent filmmaker. All of these things are submitted because there's a lot of great works out there in the world, but not a lot of places where people can actually show them. You can't just take it to a museum. You can't just take it to a newspaper or TV or radio podcast, unless it's our show or your show. There's not a lot of shows that will do that. You know, Jimmy Starr will do that too. But again, we're all booked up in advance, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's right too. And of course, you know, in fact, uh, I like to have you on back as well, too. And uh, oh, speaking of that, um, what can we expect from you uh, in 2022 and beyond, you know, with, with your um, Greenweaver Arts uh, project, movie views and more? And uh, what else can we expect from you or maybe like a new project coming up in uh, 2022 and beyond? Well, we're going on the road. We're going. Um, well, we start here. CES show. Uh, press days, January 3rd and 4th. We're doing all those. So a lot of one-on-ones with a lot of the eventers, a lot of the CEOs of these great projects, products and brands of people who've never even seen before. A lot of it this year, next year is going to be health and AI. So look what we do. So automatic things, driving up and picking up your things like this and dropping them off, whether it's food. Think of DoorDash, but AI technology <laughs> robots doing that because a lot of people don't want a human contact anymore. So they have automation doing these things. And then obviously health. This virus is not going away. It's going to have different types of things going on. So how can you combat that? How can you stay ahead of that? And then mm. there's a thing called Ringo that, uh, you know, April Mene is one of the founders of that. So it's one of the events that essential nose rings. You put it in for like 10 minutes and get nose. And one is called anti-stress. One's for smoking. One's it's for uh, uh, immunity. One makes you focus. It's really, really good because everybody's going through anxiety, depression, you know, PTSD, the last year, the last two years, and maybe next year. A lot of people, it doesn't get better, it gets worse. So these things will help. So if you go to ringo.world, that is something that will help. And we have that involved with what we're doing too. Oh, that's so amazing. And uh, where, can we, where can we, again, where can we find more from Bench about uh, Dreamweaver Arts uh, organizations well too? And uh, maybe just something uh, to add as well too. It's just like, this is just an amazing project. And I want to get some people involved as well. Well, uh, like I said, you can go to Ringo.World for one. And then February 8th, we, we will kick off our two-hour live show. So we go from our 50 minutes on iHeart and all the platforms around the world like you're on. And then we go to our second hour. And then after that, February 10th, we have an event coming up in Hollywood, California at Madame Tussauds on the roof. It's outside. And then we're connecting it with the Lowe's Hotel, which is right there in Hollywood Highland. So we want the Lowe's Hotel to be our host hotel cross-country, no matter where we go. That's one. So we are going to Beloit International Film Festival, which is February 27th. We'll be there for a couple of days. We'll have our own panel. So I bring the team in. We talk about what's relevant. Like how are you and I talking to brands, what individuals are doing and what we're doing. 
we get a chance to tell our stories in an open and in a safe way. And then going to Chicago, and then mid-May, we're going to Nashville. So we'll set all of that stuff out like that. So we're really just taking it on the road, if that makes sense, and you get a chance to meet the girls. That is so interesting. And where can we find uh, movie reviews and more at again? Now, we put everything underneath. Uh, think of this. Think of how Disney has Star Wars, uh, Marvel, uh, Pixar. It's all underneath Disney. The Dreamweaver Arts will have Dreamweaver Artist Ranch movie reviews and more in the old Martha Cube. Everything's un underneath that, if that makes sense now. So you can go to that same website and you'll see everything listed in one item. We certainly will check that out. Once again, Brian Sebastian, movie reviews and more. It's great to have you back on. Also of a Dreamweaver Arts um, organization as well, the Mike Wagner Show. Brian, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing as always. Looking forward to having you on once again and make sure you please, please keep us up to date. Will you please, can you do that for us? Well, absolutely. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm going to send you a couple of three people that I know of right away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we certainly will do so. And uh, once again, give us a recap on the upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people simply just uh, check out movie reviews and more Dreamweaver arts and everything else? Once again, where can we check out all your stuff at? I always send them to the YouTube channel for one. Our Tennessee shows are itube247.com. That's itube247.com, exactly how it sounds. itube247.com. You'll see our Tennessee shows uh, right now, 4,700,000 views and climbing still. And, you know, YouTube, but really, I send everybody to the dreamriverarts.org now because everything is combined. Think of it as that corporation that continues to grow. And that's so amazing. We're looking forward to it. Once again, Brian, a very big thank you for your time. You're always amazing. And we wish you all the best with um, your Dreamweaver, uh, Dreamweaver Arts Project and everything else, movie reviews and more. We're looking forward to having you back on 2022. You are totally terrific. And you definitely got a great future ahead of you. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. And I'm going to have to buy one of those pillows from you because I like your Mike Wagner pillow. <laughs>